Oh no! Where is Megatron? Where did he go? I cannot see him! Hey! What's up my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Generation Toy, Megasauri! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Not much to it, Generation Toy, Megasauri, I'm assuming that says Generation Toy, Megasauri, and that's its barcode, yay. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let, let me run down for you here. Uh, what was supposed to happen. Um, I originally was going to do a build video on this kit. Um, now, the way this worked is, if you bought Crane, the uh, the last member of their Gravity Builder, they're not Devastator, if you bought Crane with the bonus, you had the option of buying him with the bonus or without the bonus, if you got him with the bonus, you got this kit. This is the kit you would originally get. This is Tyrant, which is a non-transclearant version of this guy. And also included with the bonus is Megasauri, which is the transclearant version. Now, originally, like I said, I was going to do a build video on this kit. So I figured, you know what? I'll put together Megasauri ahead of time just so I can have him for comparison because I'm not going to build two kits on camera. So I built him ahead of time. And then when I opened up Tyrant to get him ready to start shooting, um, I realized there was a bit of a mistake. Um, <laughs> so... You get all your sprues, you get a, uh, a baggie of, of screws and everything. You actually get more screws than you need, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, you get sprues A through, what's the last one? A through G. Um, but the problem with the set that I got is that it came, I don't know if you can see it, it came with two C sprues and no D sprue. So I'm missing a sprue. So I can't put him together on camera as I originally wanted to. And uh, yeah, that sucks. But I did contact uh, Big Bad Toy Store and uh, told them about it. And uh, I'll just read to you what they sent me. I should have had this email open already. Would have saved me some time. There we go. So here's what Big Bad Toy Store said. They said, thank you for the information and I apologize that you experienced this complication with your set. We unfortunately did not receive any additional sets because this problem has been reported by several customers. We reached out to our supplier and they will be sending us some additional D trees soon. Once we have them, I will be sure to ship you the necessary parts as quickly as possible. So that is the official statement from Big Bad Toy Store. And, uh, yeah, apparently this was a widespread issue where people were getting two C sprues and no D sprue for this kit. Totally understandable. You know, the alphabet's hard. <laughs> but <laughs> once I actually get the D sprue that I need, I will put this together on camera because I still want to put this together on camera. And no, I was not going to take this back apart again. No, I would, no, no, I wasn't going to do that. No, <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So I will keep all this here and this will be, this will be a future build video. So there you have that. Get out of here. So we'll just take a look at Mega Sorry, which is the transclearant version of Tyrant, and as you can see, he's a little Megatron, and he's actually pretty cool. I do quite like this figure, as you can see, he's done in transclearant plastic, the clear, the red, a nice smoky, smoky black. Um, very cool, you also get some purple here for the fusion cannon, he's basically totally made of light piping. <laughs> so if you get him backlit, he just glows. He just glows like a heavenly angel of murder. <laughs> but he's, he is pretty cool. Uh, let's get in close here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see any of the detail on this guy since he's all clear plastic, but hey, you can see his head sculpt there. You kind of make out his mouth, his nose. He has nice red eyes in there. He does have the red light piping, although his entire head is made of light piping, but hey. And you can see the detail in there again. It's a little harder to see because it's all that transclearing plastic, but it's there. But yeah, very nice. Very cool. It, it's, it's a very cool little kit. Um, definitely fun to put together, I will say. Um, very nice, very nicely done. There's the back. 
Let's see how they're going on there. He does have a bit of a, a backpack here for transformation. But yeah, there you go. He's pretty cool on articulation wise. His head is on a ball joint, so you get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit. You can look down. You can go. You can do that. Um, his arms can rotate a full 360, maybe? No, 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 no. Tabs start to get in the way. You have little tabs here, those get in the way. Um, you can't move his arms that far out. You got a bicep swivel. You do have under 90 degrees of bend. Um, nothing at the wrist. You have this transformation joint right here, so you can move his hands inward like that, but there's no swivel. Um, he does have a little bit of a waist swivel. This is actually on a ball joint, so you can kind of get some wiggly waggly movement on his hips there, because his hips don't lie. My hips don't lie! Anyway, you get a little bit of rotation there. Um, the hips are on the ball joints. They can move forward that much. They can move back that far. Outward, only that far. He does have a thigh swivel. Under, 90 degrees of bend at the knee. Uh, the feet are on a ball joint at the base and a hinge here. So you can kind of move his foot up a bit. You can move his foot down. Um, very minimal ankle tilt just due to the way all this is shaped there's not a, whole, not a whole lot of room in there so you get very very slight ankle tilt going on there but yeah he's still pretty cool nonetheless you know not the most articulated thing in the world but still for a, such a small figure i think he's pretty poseable and just for a comparison here he is with legends rumble or frenzy whatever you want to call him and the Deluxe Scourge from Titan's Return. So you can see he's pretty much in between size classes there. So that's how he scales with some mainline stuff. And uh, here he is with Toy World's Hegemon. Just because. There you go. There he is with the Hegemeister. So that you have that. And yeah, um, he's a cool little dude. Cool little dude. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention too. Um, in in the package with Mega Sorry, you do get this little uh, this little envelope here. And uh, basically, what's in here is you get some bio cards for all of your Generation Toy Gravity Builder dudes. So there's Scraper with his tech specs and a bio that I cannot read. And Mixer Truck again, tech specs bio I can't read. There you have Navi. Again, text specs, bio, I can't read. Uh, there's Bulldozer. Text specs, bio. Dump truck. Text specs, bio. And Crane. Text specs, bio. There you go. <laughs> Hooray for cards. Alright, so let's get down to transforming this little dude. So to transform him, you want to remove his fusion cannon you want to remove this piece back here what parts for it yes parts for me yes you just want to take these pieces put those off to the side for now and you just want to take this backpack section here just bring that down like that swivel that down and you just want to take his head and bring this whole panel back flip his head in and then that will just tuck right into the body the body, the body. There you go, like that. And there you go. So now you just want to flip the hand in, collapse the arm, flip the hand in, collapse the arm. Come on, this one's a little tighter. I might have to loosen some of those screws. <laughs> collapse that in like that. And now you want to untab the shoulder right here. Dab into the side there. Now you want to take this whole upper chest assembly here and that untabs and you rock that back and then this whole armature here just swings around like that and then you just take the arm and you swing it under like so and now for the arm for this arm I should have done this first actually you want to rotate you want to rotate the arm at this hinge right here so you want to rotate the arm like that and then bring it out and now you can rotate it at this hinge swing that around and then you just collapse all this back together and this section will tab into that section which can take a bit of doing there we go 
Sometimes those tabs don't want to go in. Come on, man. Come on, man. That is working better before. Of course, because the camera's on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. The sun's not sitting flush there. What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. Why are you resisting me now? Why are you resisting me? It wants to be a little nozzle now. There we go. There we go. All right. So once you've done that, you now want to start working on the legs. You want to take the legs and swing them outward. And then you want to open up this panel here. And you want to collapse the leg inward. So you want to, you have to clear these little tabs here, which is a bit annoying. So you do have to kind of flex things around. But you want to clear that. You want to make sure that this red tab stays facing up. That's one thing you need to make sure of. Make sure that stays facing up. And just bring that down like that. Make sure it like stays pointing in the direction it's supposed to be going. And there you go. So all that collapses in just like that. And I can close this panel up. And then you just flip in the heel spur. And then you just push his foot up and in. And there you go. You just do the same thing with the other leg. You open this up. And you just kind of wiggle this through. Oops. I popped this foot off. <laughs> I'm going to have to tighten that screw there. Oops. Come on, man. There you go. I have to tighten this. That's what it is. Anyway. Wiggle this through right there again make sure that this red piece stays up <clears throat> excuse me pretty tight here i'm gonna have to loosen some of these screws <laughs> i've become a third party company i over tighten screws i've become that which i hate ah, anyway so i just collapse the leg up and like that and you just close that up, and again you flip, oh man, I'm going to have to tighten this. You flip in the heel, flip that foot up and in, I just have to tighten that screw, that's what it is, I left it a little too loose apparently. That's why the foot keeps coming off. And then you just take two halves here, and you snap them together, like that. Let me just readjust a little bit here, okay, and then we just take this whole assembly, that at one point was here, just on tabs, you swing it around, and this will now tab in right there, like that. And then you take all this, you swing this around, and uh, this tab right here will go into that slot right there. So you just swing all that around, tab that in, get that back into place there. This panel right here will just swing back, and that will just tab in right in there. Again, just swing that around. Then you take these panels here, flip these up. These panels right here have those two tabs that will go into these notches right up in here. I don't know how you can see that, but there you go. So you just bring all that down. Then you can bring that chest piece down over it, and everything should tab into place. Except for that one tab. That's, that worked fine before, and now for some reason it wants to be a pain in the butt. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going to fight with it. And then you take this panel, and you just flip that up right there. Like that. Like that. And then we bring these pieces back in, and you take the barrel of the gun. That plugs into the front. You take the fusion cannon, now sight. And the instructions tell you to plug it onto this post right here, but there's also this post here in the middle. I plug it in there because that makes it look a lot better. And there you go. There you have Megasari in his gun mode, and it's actually a, a decent little gun mode. I do quite like it. <laughs> it's just a transclearant stealth gun of murder. Yeah, you'll never see this coming. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, the trigger does not move. The trigger is just molded in place, so it doesn't move or anything, but still, that's that's pretty cool. I do quite like it. So, there you have that.
But for comparison, here he is with Toy World's Hegemon. Just so you can get a sense of his size there. So you yeah, have that. Now this guy is meant to be held by Gravity Builder. So let's bring in the big boy here. Get him standing up. Raise up. There we go. And you can see here that uh, Gravity Builder has two slots in his palm. And on the gun handle, there are two tabs on either side. So we can hold it in his left or his right hand. And you just take Mega Sorry here. And you just get him slotted in. And you have to give it a good, good squeeze there. So it can lock in securely. And there you go. We have Gravity Builder. Holding Megasauri. That's pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's a little too big for his hand. I mean, his hand is actually, you know, his, his, his hand is pretty much just all the way open. So, I mean, he does, he's not really holding it. It's more just kind of glued to his palm. But, hey, still it gives the illusion in some way, shape, or form. So... There you go. And if you actually have a, uh, a complete Tyrant kit and you have both versions, you can have him dual-wielding Megatrons, which would be pretty cool. Wish I could do that now, but I can't. Because <laughs> I'm missing a sprue. Generation toy. Anyway. <laughs> you guys should be mega-sorry anyway. I'm sure they are. <laughs> but, you know, they're, they're fixing the problem. But there you go. So there you have that. Actually, one more thing I want to show off since I have Gravity Builder here. I'll get this guy back into robot mode real quick. Boom! All right, so now we can see how he looks with Gravity Builder here in robot mode. And you can see, obviously, he's way shorter. <laughs> he just comes up to not even the top of the mixing drum there. He's just, he's just a little guy. You're just a little guy, but there you go. So there you have that. Let's get back down to ground level here. Alrighty. So yeah, um, a neat little kit. Um, definitely uh, fun to build. I did quite enjoy it, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get those uh, those D sprues soon, so I can actually do the build video on the uh, on the non transclearing version on Tyrant, because I really want to do that. Um, but yeah, neat little kit nonetheless. Um, very cool. Like I said, if you got the uh, if you got Crane with the bonus, you got both kits. Um, you can just buy uh, the Tyrant kit by itself. That is uh, available to purchase separately, so you don't have to buy Crane if you don't want to. You can just buy the little kit. Uh, but like I said. Earlier, you know, there is definitely an issue with a missing sprue there, so you might want to maybe wait a bit before you go in on that if you want to buy this kit. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. I don't believe this transclearing version is available to purchase separately. It's just the non-transclearing version that's available to purchase separately. Um, this was only available if you bought the crane with bonus. Um, but, yeah. Still cool though, it's it's a nice little kit, so there you go. So if you would like any of Generation Toys offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Gravity Builder playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Generation Toy. Mega sorry, and this is MGO saying remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be a proud, pull me in your face. Hey, Rumble, it's Frenzy, or, or is it Rumble? Whatever, check out this new thing that Shockwave cooked up. It makes me invisible to our enemies. Now we can infiltrate their headquarters without being detected. Um. I I can still see you though. What? Yeah, I can I can still see you. Hence why I looked right at you when you walked into the room. So you can still Yes, I can still. Wave! You suck! Who am I?